One of the uh, questions I'm asked most frequently is my favorite pier. And it's always a hard question to answer because, you know, California has a thousand miles of coastline. And when you fished over a hundred piers, um, you, you like a lot of those piers. And one of the things I find is, is that the piers in uh, San Diego uh, and the fish you catch in San Diego are not the same as the Central Coast piers, and those aren't the same as the Bay Area piers and some of them aren't the same as the Northern California piers. So for me, it depends a lot on what I'm, what I'm trying to catch. It depends a lot, not just on the fish, but also on the, um, the environment of the pier. There's a lot of intangibles that go into how your feeling is on your, your experience on a pier. And I can have days when the fishing is the overwhelming uh, thing that's attracting me, and other days when fishing is not so great, but I'm still having a great day because maybe the, the, the environment, the scenery is, is so nice. Not exactly a favorite pier, but some, some of my favorite piers, uh, going from south to north would be San Diego. I, I always, because I fished, have so many memories of Shelter Island and so many memories of Crystal Pier. Uh, those are two of my favorites in San Diego although Ocean Beach also is included in there. Going to Orange County where I grew up fishing really, Newport Pier is so many memories that I, that's got to be one of my favorite piers. But Balboa is nice. I love San Clemente because of the variety of fish, the good fishing in San Clemente. And I've had some great days at Seal Beach and so Seal Beach also enters into the equation somehow. Uh, when you go into LA, I didn't, haven't fished the LA piers as much as the other piers. But I certainly, the two piers that are on Catalina have become very special. The Green Pleasure Pier at Avalon and the Cabrillo Mole. We had a series of get-togethers at those piers uh, for quite a few years. And the, the, the quality of fish you catch, the quantity of fish you catch, and the different kind of fish you catch make those special. So those both special because of the get-togethers, but also just because of the... Uh, the different kind of species. You, you catch uh, a lot of sheephead, you catch ocean whitefish. You see some fish, you rarely, you know, you catch more eels. The things that you rarely ever see at the uh, piers along the actual coast. So those are special. Uh, Santa Monica, I've, I've always got a kick out of fishing Santa Monica because you can go actually underneath the pier and fish. I've always liked that. I've always loved Malibu Pier. I've had some great days at the Malibu Pier. And nearby is one of my favorite bait and tackle shops the entire state. Wiley's Bait and Tackle, Ginny Wiley. She's always fun to see and uh, so many great memories there. So I always like uh, Malibu Pier. Going north, of course, a uh, special pier was uh, Galita Pier. Uh, we had an angler center there for a number of years with our Upsack site. And I fished that pier and have great memories. My friend uh, Boyd Grant was there. And so Galita is a great pier. And then north of that, a short distance is Gaviota Pier, right where um, kind of um, where the, the road turns from going east-west to where it turns north-south, Point Conception. And that pier was a great pier, but it's been closed for a number of years because the state can't seem to get its act together and get the money to fix it. But it's a great pier, great fishing pier. Going to Central California, um, I live in Fresno now, so I head over when I get out, want to get out of the heat of the uh, Fresno area where it's 100 degrees in summertime, we head to the Redneck Riviera and that's the area from Pismo Beach up to Santa Cruz. And so I like all those piers, special, I have a lot of special attraction to the Coast Guard Pier at Monterey, again because of the different species. And of course Santa Cruz and Capitola where I've had a lot of uh, great days fishing and met a lot of nice people there. Uh, heading north is Pacifica, one time Pacifica was probably the number one st pier in the state as far as fish um, for a few years. Uh, it used to be known as the salmon capital and they had over a thousand salmon caught there in one weekend. Um, those days seem to be over. And that, and fishing's not nearly as good there as it used to be. In fact, more, more people now crab there than they do fish, I think. But it's, it's still a favorite and a beautiful setting and it's an interesting pier. Bay Area, there's lots of interesting piers. Two of my favorites, are, one is Fort Baker, right at the uh, north end of the Golden Gate Bridge, almost under, under the bridge almost. Uh, great scenery, great views of the bay and a lot of good fishing. 
uh, than Elephant Rock Pier, a tiny little pier in Tiburon that uh, uh, can't take more than about a half dozen people on the whole pier, but you're fishing on a rock and you drop down and you're getting rock fish, you're getting perch, you're getting uh, monkey face eels, all kinds of interesting fish. If you cast out, it, it cast down at real deep water and some huge bat rays and huge sharks because the water that goes between Tiburon and Angel Island is very deep and so that's a really fun pier. Northern California, I lived in Mendocino County for years. Point Arena became my favorite and for certain times of the year it's probably one of the best piers to fish in the state. Not a big pier but in the spring when the uh, uh, perch are running, they're spawning, uh, striped perch, striped sea perch, uh, you can you can load up a limit of perch and a large perch, two pound perch, uh, cabazon, occasional lingcod, it's a, it's a great great pier. Then if you keep going north, you go far enough you're going to reach Oregon border. Well, on the way to the Oregon border, you're going to hit Eureka. There's some small piers there. Uh, a, a favorite pier is Trinidad, just north of Eureka. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. You're up in Redwood country. Fishing is not always great, but sometimes it's pretty good. And you catch a lot of cabazon. You catch uh, kelp greenling, rock greenling. But the, the, just the scenery and the feeling of being there is just unbelievable sometimes. And then you finally head up to Crescent City just before you get to the Oregon border and has two little piers and again the fishing can be good the one the one uh, citizens dock it's uh, if you know the right spots and I do you can catch a lot of rockfish and cabazon uh, the other one's B Street Pier and just the unbelievable scenery it's just it's gorgeous up there so uh, all these piers are favorites I, I don't have one favorite but you know, some it's the scenery, some it's, some it's the, the people I've met, some it's the memories of growing up on those piers, and some it's the fish, but it, 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 they all are, they all, they're all favorites. I like all 128 of them, but, uh, but those are my favorite piers. Okay, we hope that you watch our pier fishing videos. We have two aims. One aim is to educate people how to be better anglers, and secondly, we hope you entertain you a little bit. I hope you enjoy these films, watch the films, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep watching.